We're about to hit the one month mark since an intense storm caused severe flooding across the central coast. One of the most impacted neighborhoods was Vista Court in Los Osos. Claudia Busio spoke to the Los Osos Community Services District to see how much it will cost to repair the Caprio Storm Retention Basin. I spoke to the Los Osos Community Services District to see how much it will cost to repair the basin. <laughs> this is my mini kitchen. And my poinsettia is still blooming. Alice Stone is keeping her chin up after her home on Vista Court in Los Osos was wrecked by the storm on January 9th. I could hear this roaring and I look out the garage door and I could see this coming at me. It came through the fence and then it just tore the, uh, tore the wall of the catio down. Where did all that water come from? The Cabrillo Retention Basin. There was a breach in the drainage basin wall which caused mud and water to flow down into the neighborhood. The basin was built in 1972. The Los Osos Community Services District took over in 2000. As part of the design, there's a drain outfall at the west side of the basin, which was designed to then keep the water level before the tops before it would top the uh, basin walls. Here's an aerial shot of the basin a day after the storm. With more rain in the forecast in January, the Los Osos CSD made a temporary fix. This berm about an extra two to three feet, compacted it, widened it to give it some more stability. Then the culvert down there, which was designed to take the water from the west to the east into that section of the basin, we uh, put an inflatable plug. A quick fix that cost about $125,000. But now the district is working on a long-term solution that Munn says could cost close to $900,000. In the meantime, the CSD's insurance carrier has hired a third party to investigate the cause of the breach. What they have done is brought in an adjuster and that person has toured every home and is going to come up with a value of the type of damage. Back on Vista Court, cleanup efforts continue four weeks later. I've spent a lot of money already, but FEMA has gave me some money. But insurance issues continue to haunt several residents like Alice. The insurance agent wouldn't even come out and take a look at the place. So he said, you, we don't have flood insurance, so that's that. FEMA disaster survivor assistance teams are still making rounds across the central coast. If you have not heard from your insurance company, please bring the information into our recovery center. The state has representatives here. Alice says she hopes to have her bedrooms and bathrooms ready by the end of the month. I'm so thankful for all the volunteers that have helped. We've had wonderful people. The district says they are also applying for some FEMA assistance. In the studio, Claudia Busio, KSBY News. The Los Osos Community Services District will meet on March 2nd to approve funding for the repair of the Cabrillo Retention Basin.